morning dear students how are you i hope you are fine before starting our lesson let's watch a video i see a firefighter fighting fires i see a car mechanic changing tires i see a pilot flying through the air i see a barber cutting people's hair i see the people in my town and i say hey brother what's going down I see a postman with the mail. I see the police putting folk in jail. I see a lifeguard at the swimming pool. I see the teachers in the local schools. I see the people in my town and I say, hey brother, what's going down? Lawyers in the courts. I see an actor acting on the stage. I see a writer writing on a page. I see a chef working in a restaurant. And a waiter asking what you want. I see the people in my town and I say, hey brother. What's going down? Doctors, nurses, astronauts, judges, lawyers, in the courts. I see the people in my town and I say, hey brother, what's going down? I say, hey brother, what's going down? I think that you guessed our topic. Today's our new theme is professions. And let's learn new words. Please repeat after me. Barber. Barber. Astronaut. Astronaut. Chef. Chef. Doctor. Doctor. Firefighter. Firefighter. Judge, judge, car mechanic, car mechanic, nurse, nurse, pilot, pilot, police, police, postman, postman, teacher, teacher, waiter, waiter, actor, Actor, writer, writer. To speak about your profession, we use to be. To be plus a n plus profession. Let's look at to be positive. I am, you are, he is, she is, Mike is, and is. And it is important to use the article N or E before the profession if uh, we are talking about one person. And we use N before the vowel sound. For example, an actor. Here, actor starts with a vowel sound E, so we use N. An actor. E, uh, we use before a consonant sound. For example, a teacher. Teacher starts with a consonant sound t, so we use the article a. Now, uh, let's see more examples. I am a teacher. You are a doctor. He is a pilot. She is a nurse. Mike is an actor. N is an astronaut. N is there is more than
than one person, we don't use article en before the plural nouns. Um, it would be incorrect if you say you are a student. It is incorrect um, because student is in plural form. Uh, you should say you are students. And now let's see more examples. We are teachers. You are doctors. They are pilots. Sam and Susan are barbers. Okay, negatives. If you want to negate, we use to be plus not. For example, I am not. You are not. He is not. She is not. Mike is not. N is not. And more example sentence. I am not a writer. You are not an astronaut. He is not a judge. She is not a police. Mike is not a postman. N is not a chef. And if you want to know about the profession of another man, you ask what is your job? And he or she can answer, I am a firefighter. And if you want to know about the profession of another man, you ask what is his job? And others may respond, he is a waiter. Or you can use the name of the person instead of his. What is John's job? John is a postman. And if you want to know about the profession of another woman, you ask what is her job? She is a nurse. Or you can use the name of the person instead of her. What is Mary's job? Mary is a teacher. Let's practice. Let's make up positive and negative sentences. What is your job? Positive sentence is I am a car mechanic. A negative sentence is I am not a police. What is his job? Positive sentence is he is a doctor. Negative sentence is he is not a judge. What is her job? Positive sentence is she is a nurse and negative sentence is she is not a teacher. That's all for today and your homework will be exercise 1, 2 and 7 on page 16. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.